fellow students hope you all are having a great day now shikra academy has come across a very interesting report based on telangana's women and health now let us dig deep into the details of the report now this is a wahu for for part of the publication i mean this publication or this compendium was published for the planning department of telangana by the council for social development and for to strengthen the newly formed state database and what what does the publication contains it captures 99 indicators at the district level so basically this publication or this compendium was uh, done by cst that is council for social development for the planning department of telangana to strengthen the newly formed state database and it includes or captures 99 various indicators at the district level now what does it uh, contain what does this report contain basically this report has calculated bmi that is body mass index of women in telangana now what is body mass index it is an indicator of health so bmi is equal to kg by meter square it is a simple calculation using person's height and weight so we can calculate bmi by using this formula by putting a person's weight on the numerator and height squared in denominator uh, let me remind you the weight is measured in kgs and height is measured in meters not feet not inches but the height is measured in meters and the weight is measured in kgs so this is how you calculate body mass index of a person this is one of the indicators of health of a person so this department has calculated bmi of women in telangana state so this report is not only important from the uh, group 2 or prelims perspective but it is also important from group 1 perspective because in mains uh, you can use this report uh, by why answering health in telangana women now let us look into some of the details now this is body mass index scale uh, if the body mass index if bmi is between 18.5 to 24.9 then the person is considered normal if bmi is about 25 and between uh, 25 to 29.9 then that person is called overweight if bmi is between 30 and 30 39.9 then that person is considered obese now bmi crosses 40 then that person is considered morbidity obese now when it comes to telangana let us look into some statistics on how women in telangana fared when uh, bmi is calculated so the average bmi of women for the entire state of telangana is 30.1% so the average person has 30.1 as bmi so 30.1% for telangana now with 14% kumaram beam asifabad has the lowest percent of women who are overweight or obese that is more than 25 bmi with 51% Hyderabad has the highest percentage of women who are overweight or obese. So, for example, there are hundred. Let's say there are hundred people in hundred women in Telangana. Thirty women are overweight, according to this report. And uh, let's say there are hundred women in Asifabad district. Fourteen women are overweight. Now, when it comes to Hyderabad, fifty-one percent. That is. if there are 100 women in hyderabad 51 women are either overweight or obese so this percentage is more for hyderabad when compared to telangana so more women are obese in hyderabad when compared to the entire state of telangana and the least percent uh, or least women who are 
uh, obese is uh, observed in Kumrambim Asifabad district. Now, when it comes to underweight, 18.8% women in the state have their BMI below normal levels, which is less than 25 kg per meter square. So, if there are 100 women in Telangana, around 18 women are below norm, have below BMI, I mean low BMI, which means they are underweight. Same way, with 12.4%, Hyderabad has the lowest percent of women whose BMI is below normal and with 27.5% Joglamba Gadwal has the highest percent which means if there are 100 women in Gadwal around 27 women are below have below BMI which means they are underweight. Now this report not only calculated BMI levels of women in Telangana, it also calculated literacy levels of women in Telangana state with 83.6%. Hyderabad has the highest percentage of women who are literate across Telangana and it was 66.6% .6 for the entire Telangana. And with 45%, Joglamba Gadwal is the lowest in state. So, for the entire Telangana, the literacy rate for women it is 66.6%. For the entire Telangana and for Hyderabad, it is 83.6%. And the lowest percent of literacy in Telangana state is recorded in Joglamba Gadwal at 45%. Moving on to the next indicator, that is pregnancy. Now, Vanaparthi district has recorded a fabulous 100% of registration of pregnancies for which the mother received a mother and child protection card. So, for example, if there are 100 pregnant women in Vanaparthi, all 100 women have registered their pregnancies and received this MCP card, that is mother and child protection card it is 96.7 percent across the state which is also equally amazing which means more number of pregnancies are being registered in the telangana state now when it comes to cesarean deliveries over 60 percent of births in the state were delivered by cesarean section across telangana so for the entire Telangana state, around 60% of deliveries is via C-section. And Karimnagar has the highest percentage of births delivered by C-section with 82.4%. And Kumram Beam Asifabad registered 27.2%, the lowest in the state. So, for example, if 100 women have delivered in Karimnagar, Around 82 women have delivered via C-section and in 100, uh, per every 100 women in Asifabad, only 27 deliveries is via C-section. So, you need to remember which state is performing well in this, in the, in this category that is a cesarean section deliveries and which, state, uh, which district is uh, performing poorly. So, you need to know the highest and the lowest district. Now, this is the end of this report. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned to Shikra Academy website for more such videos. Thank you. Have a nice day.